Hey, how's it going everybody? My name's Dragon Keep and welcome back to another What If. Here's the moment you've been waiting for. Well, I think some of you have been waiting for it. I don't know. I can't. I don't have mind powers. Anyway, this is What If Deku Was a No Moo. I, uh, I couldn't find anything like, like what I wanted. So I just went with this because I think this is adorable. Well, bull as bull, Deku goo as Kurgi. Look at him, he's so cute. Oh, even that, as he's Kurgi, we like Deku is still still cinnamon roll. Oh, so anyway, let me explain to you what Nomu Deku looks like. Take a Normal Deku, but growing two feet. Basically, take normal Deku, make him two feet taller, give him a big, a big butt green tail with spikes on the end. And give him a extreme buff we buff top half and a dummy thick thick dark blue bottom half. Yeah, that's basically Nomu Deku. Also, the only support I dub that he uses is a respirator because his because his multiple quirks are quirks caused him to have have trouble with his breathing. So it's good to have have that respirator in handy. So anyway, let's get right to the timeline. Now, it's not soft normal, but let's skip to after the the, the sludge villain when attacks attacks Bakugo Go and All Might saves both Deku and Bakugo. Now Bak now Deku is walking home. Bakugo Go then went Deku He as he ran to ran towards him but before he could but before Bakugo could stop stop a giant purple por a giant portal of Appeared. You see what Kurogiri can do. Anyway, a giant portal appeared, which freaked out Bakugo as he said, Deku, look behind you! But before Deku could look behind him, he suddenly grabbed by a grabbed by a scientist and pulled into the portal. Then the portal closes. Bakugo just screams out, "Deku!" He 
he he is then hurt he is then he's then feeling regrets regret seeing that he couldn't save someone he knew that that's not what heroes are supposed to do do and yet he couldn't save save one person sin but then he thought no no it's fine he's he's probably still alive live i just need to locate him I just need to find where the portal took Deku. Go save him, and we'll be on, and I'll be on my way. Then, out of nowhere, comes All Might saying, "I am here." Bakugo then says, "All Might, thank goodness you're here. Here." A weird portal came out of nowhere with a scientist that grabbed Bach and grabbed Deku. Oh, sorry, you don't know that name. Name, uh, how do I say it? Izuku Midori, the, the, the little green kid. The little green haired kid. All Might then said, wow, that is a prop. Oh God, that is a problem. Well, don't, but don't worry, very young sir. Don't worry, Mr. Bakugo then says, uh, I'm Bakugo Katsuki. <laughs> he then, All Might then says, don't worry, Mr. Young Bakugo, I'll find Young Midoriya. And I'll get, I'll get the uh, the pro here. Bros, and we'll find ba Young Bak Young Midoriya, yes soon. So don't worry. Bakugo then nines and walks off. So, luckily, Glee Bakugo didn't see All Might transform into Small Might. In the Small Might. As Small Might then, then dashes back into the alleyway he came in. So, anyway, uh, two months passed, gosh, anyway, two months have passed, and Bakugo is still a little upset, well, not a little upset, very upset, that they still haven't found Deku. So. So one day he was rocking down. Getting to. Getting back home. When suddenly. He hears. He hears this. Hey. Hey you. He turn Bakugo then turns off turns around and sees Kam Kameo Woods I, I think that's how you say his name. Kameo Woods Woods let me know in the comments if I said it wrong. But anyway, Kameo Woods Woods He then 
goes over the cameo woods and says, What's going on? Woods that cameo woods that says, I think we found. I think we found where deck where young Midor, where Midoriya, where Midoriya Izuku might be. Be. He's in an old. We think he's in an old abandoned, old and abandoned warehouse. And I think it would be best if you came along. Just to make sure we got the right, sure we could find him. Bakugo then says, "Sure, sure, I'll come." You know, with his little. Tch. Anyway, they get to the abandoned warehouse, and well, before I say anything. The abandoned warehouse that they're going to is not the warehouse that all for one one came out of of in season three. Let me just get that clear out of the way. It's not the same warehouse. It's a totally different warehouse house with different no different no move that that are either defective or just too powerful to contain. Now, they get to the abandoned warehouse Kamio Woods tries to open the door but figures out that it's locked. Noticing that, Bakugo then explodes the door. <laughs> Sends a massive explosion towards the door, and it flies off. The door, anyway. Anyways, he goes to... They both go in. Suddenly, as they're walking, they, they hear talk. They hear two people talking. Get. They both hide. They both hide and hide under no. Hide in dark in the darkness, which is kind of hard. Hard for Bakugo with his light hair, but. Anyway, they managed to hide very cr very good. Hmm, very good. Anyway, they go to... They find that this... That the doc... They find the person... The people that were talking was a guy covered in hands and, the, and a doctor. Bakugo then says, that's him. That's the doc. That's the guy that kidnapped Deku. The doctor then says to the hand man, "Yes, these are all defective, except for this one that we." Except for this one that we got two that we got two months ago. Kamel Woods said secret said silently two months ago. That could be that could be Midoriya. They fall they follow the doctor and the handyman to where they see the Deku that I described. Nomu Deku, as I call him. <laughs> well, 
I don't need to call him anything. The name is literally right here. Boom. Nope. Sorry about that. That was a bit of a spoiler. Anyway, let's get back into it. <coughs> they tell... The doctor that tells the handyman... Man, we put this... We put this no Mu points at Nomu Deku Ku, and continues. We put this the we put this no Mu Mu here here because it's just too powerful and we can't control it. It's almost as if it's got its own free will. I feared that plus but don't worry I'm sure that given time here it'll get away its free will will be gone Luckily we keep we can keep it alive by that by the respirator here Handyman, the the handman just says, "What are its, what are its quirks?" Wow, that's a pretty good Shigaraki voice. Anyway, he, the doctor that says he has five quirks. This guy has he has five quirks in total. So, super strength, shock absorption. Regeneration, fast regeneration, a big green spiked tail, and a special ability I call Green Whip. Now before I begin continuing the timeline, let me tell you a little bit about Green Whip. Now, take regular Green, take regular Black Whip. But times it's powered by a hundred and make it green and make it so that it can come anywhere out of the body instead of just the hands. That is how powerful Green Whip is and that is how powerful Nobu Deku is. Anyway, we get back, to, let's get back to the timeline. As, as Handman and Doc, and the Doctor, to go away, Kame would, Kame, Kameo would send Bakugo, go, then go to the imprisonment. Simon Cell, well, where, where Nomu Deku is. Bakugo then just screams out, Deku! He then, and then proceeds to explode the the containment cell that De that Nomu Deku is in, which breaks the the containment cell, which drops Nomu Deku go onto Bakugo, which then sounds which sound which sounds the alarm for saying that a no. Mu has escaped. The hand the man hears the alarm and says, Let me take care of this. He then goes out out to see that Kameo Woods said Bakugo 
Bakugo are escaping with the Nomu. Well, with a Nomu. Now, this is where I'm going to leave the timeline right now. I'm sorry that I didn't get too much into it, but it's pretty good for right now. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, then... Boom! Slap that like button across the face. Catch you next one, guys. Laters!